Que pasa everybody? So today I'm going to be working on the Impala and uh, I'm going to be doing a disc spray conversion for the front. So I'm going to make it a two part video. Um, on this first part, I'm going to show you guys how to take it all apart. So these cars come with drum in the front and the back. And uh, I'm going to go disc brake. So on the first video, I'm going to take it apart, clean it, paint it. And then on the second video, I'm going to show you guys all the part numbers, what I'm using, and uh, how to put it together. I haven't done one yet, but uh, we're going to learn. So I already took apart one side and cleaned it and painted it. Those are the parts right there. Already cleaned it, painted it. I just got to remove this hub because uh, we're going to use a rotor for it. So, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. All right, so I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and uh, take this apart, clean it up, paint it, and then we'll go from there. So, let's get it done. All right, so we're going to start by first, let's take this apart. This little dust cap. Then we gotta remove uh, this nut and take off this hub right here. So, let's get to it. Now let's take off that nut. And this one shouldn't be that tight, so there it is. Like that. So now, this is my first time working on the, one of these Impalas, so bear with me. So now we got to take off these two nuts, or bolts and nuts, and this one right here. So the way I did the other side is, uh, and be careful because these are under tension then you can hurt yourself or you know break a nail I don't know Okay, so this is my first time working on one of these uh, front ends, so I don't know how to take this off. Maybe. 
Oh, there we go. I know it's not a special tool, but... Oh, well. Alright. And that's all you have to take off, pretty much. Now you gotta... Bend these little tabs. Where was I? Alright, so yeah, they make a special tool for these springs and all that, but I rarely work on them, so. That's one tab. That's it, really. So this top one is a 1516. See if my gun can take it off, hopefully. Alright, there we go. Not all the way. And these are three quarters. So get your three quarters. Alright. So put that in the back. One. Got the yes. There we go. Alright, we're back. Man, power air tools make everything so much easier. When I edit the video, I'll adjust the volume so I don't blow your guys' eardrums off. So, all right, now we're gonna loosen up this uh, brake line right there. So, got me some of these last night or off Amazon. So, and everything I'm buying for this car and putting on. I'm buying it with my own money. I'm not sponsored or nothing. So. Right, so that's that. Save that. And now this one right here. And it should all come off. One piece. And I don't know if the kit that I bought comes with the nut that goes here. So I'm going to save this just in case. All right. That's it, really. Not too, not too hard. All right, so now that we got all that off, um, I'm going to take off the spindle. So I can uh, clean it up, paint it, and then once it dries up, we'll put the spindle back on. And tomorrow morning, I'll come back out and I'll uh, show you guys the part numbers, all the parts that I'm using to do this disc brake conversion up for the front. So uh, let's take off the spindle. So we're going to start off by taking off this carter pin. Stubborn. All right, then. make it come out. There we 
go. Now we get 17. 17. So it's a 11.16 for that one. And now you're gonna give it a couple love taps. Right there. Just a couple. You know what? Let me use this right here. So, I don't really like using these because it messes up the the ball joint boot. But since I'm gonna be replacing them later, I guess we can go for it. I mean, so when you use those, see if you can see it. it rips them. Not all the time, sometimes. So, oh, we're gonna replace it anyway. So, let's keep going. We're gonna take off this quarter pin, this quarter pin, and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that right there. So, I, all right, so turn it. on the ground for this one. Oh, I guess I'll make you come out. Hold it up. Come on, give me that yes. There it is. Oh man, oh, where'd it go? All right, now, take the bottom one off, 15 sixteenths. Now you don't want to take it all the way off, all right? Uh, leave a couple threads on there. You'll see why right now. Right. That should be fine right there. Now let's do the top one. So the top one is three quarters. So, 
if you guys can see it. So what you can do is give it a couple smacks right there. And with the pressure of the spring, it'll release it. There you go. Smack it right there. Be careful with your knuckles or anything else. There it is. See that? So it popped off. those guys off but so now there's a gap right there now we're gonna do the same to the bottom nope nope oh shit that's why you gotta be careful Try this on the bottom. Right. We're gonna try this, see if it works on this one. I think it'll work on this one. There we go. And now we're going to put a jack under it. Hey. Mm. And be careful when you guys are doing this. all your hands there you go I should just fall right off kind of maybe really come on there you go and that's it all right so now I'm gonna clean it up I'm gonna clean this up paint it and I'll get back to you guys when I'm painting it or putting it back together all right so I just got done painting these things Now time to put them on. So let's get to it. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> there we go. Start from the bottom. Top. Line them up. Take hmm? where the cotter pin is. A little more. To the bottom. Make 
sure you check where the cotter pin's going. Right there. Cool. And these are two different sizes. So, long one, short one. Here we go, round two. Oh, shit. There it is. Jesus. Oh, man. Check where the cotter pin hole is at. Right now just install the hub and I'm just putting this on right now so I can drop it and put the tires on it. I don't want it sitting in the air. So. So there it is guys, taken apart, painted, put back together, one side to the parts, here's the other side, now stay tuned for video two, tomorrow I'm going to come out in the morning and do the whole disc swap. Let you guys know the part numbers and everything. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for watching.